Alright, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Gibbard campaign. In the last episode, we did a big war with Benon, and they got full annexed. However, that left us with a little bit of a coalition, and a lot of aggressive expansion. So, we're gonna be chill for this one. We're gonna be waiting until this coalition goes away, then we're gonna declare for this province. And, oh, they got halflings, that's fine. Then we're gonna declare for this province, and that'll end humiliate these guys. And probably some other guys, too. Just because I can. Like, who are these allies? Who are they allied to? They're allied to Wax. This is going to be a fun one. Fun one indeed. Okay. And let's go. Making a definite... Very good. Clergy insulted. Stop. Artificers is loyalty. No. I want the Artificer topic because I like the Artificers. Sorry, Clergy. And we're still a year ahead, and no one's grabbed the tech yet. And now someone has. Yeah, I can just grab it in two months. Don't worry about it. Okay. Oh, look at that. Nugans... Okay. Great powers. Nugans or I made it. Interesting. I also noticed that over here... Cobalt are gone. Sad day. And over here, we got an interesting nation pop out. This one doesn't pop out all the time. I just think they're a neat color. Trolls are still kicking. Frozen Mall lost. Oh, they moved their capital over there. They really lost. Oh my goodness. Anyway. One more month. Now I take the Miltech, because it's normal price. I get horses. Will I build horses? Probably not. Auxiliary cavalry. They are actually noticeably better than my infantry. Gnomes can't even get on top of horses, so why don't we hire some dumb humans who can? Love that. Yeah, and one of the fun things about... uh gnomish units is that uh, yeah it's a good tanks gunner platform it's very fun they get fun yeah we're the only ones that are good on tech right now so that's fun hmm they have that one loan left iron ore quality problems i don't care what is my force limit right now 11 11 okay we're doing fine then why does that cost so much that cost 30 ducats. Spunkler's running rampant. <sighs> I guess I'm just gonna have to pay. Oh well. I'd rather not take a loan. Where are we at? That's enough. Tech! Let's take the tech. Ooh! Workshop. That's the other one of those. Nice, nice. Learnings of an Elder. Get you up to 666, and you're only 113. Gnomes live to be about 350 when they start getting old. So... Or something like that. Elves are 400, gnomes are 350. Something like that, right? So, we're going to get some money. And this person's probably going to be in charge of our nation forever. Let's see. What's my power projection like? Who's my third rival and why am I not... Why am I not embargoing you? That's a good question. Issue embargo, please. Thank you. All right. Yeah, I need your trust up. We're gonna be working on doing trust right now. You need trust. You need trust. Because these two are gonna be long-term allies. Ah, another river party. Fun. Yeah, very fun. It's kind of annoying. It's gonna devastate the capital a bit. How much do I get a year? 0 0.3... 0 0.13 a month. Not bad. What about you? 0.2 a month. Okay, cool. So we're gonna do one more of these each then, because it's gonna be a while before we go to war again. Sparring on the boat. Ooh, 10 military points. Love it. Alright, who are my other allies? Gizden. Yeah, I just decided to be friends with you, because you actually want to be friends. Okay, so I have one more Diplo relation available. Does anyone else want to be my friend yet? Offer lines. A lot of people do, actually. 15. Was one of those Magisterium? No. I was seeing things. Ah, these guys. I think they had to... Yeah, these guys had to give up their alliance with me. That's one of the things that happened. Okay. You can be my friend again, then. A 
All right. And let's see. Yeah, we got those as permanent claims. We're going to chill for a bit. We're going to wait until the merchants are happy again, which is going to be very soon. Then we're going to dev that province up to 25. Sparring on the boat. Nice. It looks like I really only got... Ah, here we go. Terrific fire in the barracks. There's about a thousand men. I don't have any men. Yeah, I don't really have any men. It's annoying. You have paper. Yeah, that's not really... General found dead. Conversation between bureaucrats. Ooh, 30 admin. Several of our court officials started talking with foreign, foreign ones about administrative subjects at the feast, resulting in our administrators learning quite a few tricks and several headaches among the crowd. Okay. General died. It wasn't the one that I liked. All right, we take those. And Diplo died. And look at that. We're already at 37 innovativeness. What's my artificial capacity now? It's going to tick up at 4, I believe. Yep. Monopolies. Oh, money time. Yay! You know what that means. I can build a worthless workshop. Yay! Oh, well. River pirate nest destroyed. Okay. By chance, our boats happened to come across a pirate nest. Of course, the, the armed men were glad to have something challenging to brawl with and quickly disposed of them. Meaning less of a burden to our on our army. That's really good. 30 mil. And good company. Yeah, we already have that one. Alright, and... It looks like it's time to get that last loan. We are officially debt-free. Wonderful. I think we're gonna do... Yeah, improve relations. Gotta improve. Okay, got it. Is. Very nice. However, um, I see that our coalition doesn't exist anymore. How many people would join me? Yeah, Wex is scary, so maybe not. Um, why would you not? Are you in a lot of debt? 270 in debt. Oh my lord. Silverford and Gisden would join. What if I declare on you? Silverforge would join. That's not fun. So instead of doing this sort of thing. I'm going to create favors with you. I'm going to create favors with you also. Alright, and we're going to be chilling. Silent Repose. Sure. Who are we fighting? Just them. It looks like you already got this. Diplomats. Nice. More points. I'll take it. Like, for real? You guys don't need my help. You got this yourself. Like, they're done. They're already done. You don't need my help. Ah, here we go. Encourage centralization. Traditionally, production in our city has been handled by individuals, with every master practicing their own craft. This has slowed production, as recent developments in centralization of industry have shown. Encouraging centralization will allow old masters to pass on their knowledge to all around them, contributing to the culture of progress which Gibbard is famous for. Yeah, we have a lot of innovativeness, and it's not even 1,500 yet. 100 admin, and I get local dev cost till the end of the game. That's wonderful. Then establish a technocracy. Has, and I'm no longer a free city. <laughs> I think it's time to turn to a technocracy. Ever since the foundation of Ambanar, we have been designated a free city, letting us look after our own affairs. While this worked well enough in the past, the fluctuating power of the Emperor has made us fear for the future of our nation if we do not protect ourselves. The gnomes of Nimscot, however, maintained the ancient government of the hierarchy, which has let them continue to innovate technologically. We should embrace the government of our past so we may move forward towards the future. Oh, this is enacts technocracy for free. Okay, love it. It enacts technology for free. So I don't have to pay for it. Yes. I am now a technocracy. I did not have to click the button. And then institute mass production. And I need a manufactory there. Of any kind. So I can put a mage tower there in the town. But like, eh. I really don't need that right now.
Oh, I have factions! Oh, I have factions. That's annoying. Unless the Kremlin thing's gone. Oh well. Sadly. Sadly, no. Oh well. Artificers. Might be able to do something right now. Great river party ends. That was actually a really good river party. So, sadly, a lot of the uh, stuff is gone. However, I did milk those monopolies for a long time. I milked those monopolies for a long time, and we're actually getting production out of these now. So we're probably making a lot more money. Yeah, we get a lot more money. And how far ahead are we on Advent? Well, I'm going to start buying this down. Huh? Alright, perfect. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I really milked that. I milked that very hard. And I regret not... What are you? Are you an elf? Is Mary. Interesting, they have a unique fortune for humans. Oh, because it's a mage. Okay, it's a mage. That makes sense. Alright, cool. And we are still making a good chunk of cash. And can we get special units? Oh, we can get special units. <laughs> They're expensive. They are expensive, but it's fine. And that war's done. Yeah, it's fair. Okay, cool. So, let's see. You want some men. 600 soldiers. I don't have very many. Cutting edge advancements. Let's see. Eureka! The heavy influence of philosophy of brilliant inventions in our country has become has come to great fruition. A period of great discoveries and great ideas has arrived, and it is time for a giver to reap the benefits of such inspired minds. So tech cost and idea cost for three years. Three years? Three years. Wow, look at that. The idea cost is really nice actually. So take that. We're really far ahead in tech. Or yeah, we're Ten years ahead on tax, so... Oh my goodness. And... New government reform. Let's see what we got. We got provincial governments. State maintenance. We got admin decisions. Government capacity. And we have union of states. Global trade power. Hmm. Good question. How are we doing on this? Right, we only have our home state. So, let's go with... Global trade power? We're not going to really be doing that, so state maintenance, I guess. It's really the only one that matters, I guess. That's fine, whatever. Humans are integrated, it's fine. Do we have anyone besides humans, dwarves, and... Nope. Halflings are over here. I will save them. Eventually. Do we have that yet? Ew. Sad. Mission! Save firearm regiment! Yeah, let's do it. Money! No. Idea. Yes. Diplorette. Plus two. Love it. I'm at seven out of seven. Very good. Okay, let's see. Who else would actually be close to doing this? Oh, wow. Cool. Sadly, I need to get you to break that alliance, which is going to cost me 50. So there's going to be a long time for that one. The other option is go to war with these guys. But they have wax. Yeah, we are nowhere near strong enough to do that. Nowhere near strong enough. With aid, I need... Pretty decent, actually. I need 200 ducats. Exceptional year, collected over time, 11 crowns, or two base production! Yo! Because entrepreneur, industrious, or might have stuck up the units, industrious. Industrious, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that is really strong. Like, look at this. Look at that. We're making cash. That's half a ducat more a month. Half a crown more a month. I looks like I'm not going to get rid of this for a while. Ooh, decadence couple page. That sucks. Um, I'll take that. Idea. This is... What does this one do? This one is... Promote culture cost, minus 100%. So I just promote culture for free. Very good. Land leader fire. Very good. Like, look at this. So, institutions, tech. I'm so ahead of everyone else. Like, oh my goodness. I'm the only one that's green, even. 
seven, eight. I think I need this first. I think I really need that. Because that one war hurt me badly. I might even need mercenaries. That's how bad it is. Okay, you look like you're good. Meanwhile... I'm going to curry favors with you, so I might actually be able to get you in if I make you prepare for war. Let's see, if I ask you to prepare for war, would you join? You'd be very close. You'd be very close to joining if I asked you to prepare for war. Okay. Silver Forge, you are going to break that. Let's see. Secure timber. I need those. Protect Ducal Gnomes. I need that one more province. I'm going to integrate Ben on. Right, we can work on that. Are my. Oh, and they don't exist anymore. Right. Nah, don't need that. We are going to click a button. And we're going to dev this up to 25. Alright, there we go. We're here, we're doing that. Perfect. Yay. So, everything for this mission is already fulfilled. This is... Some stuff. Ubervar loves me. I don't call problems. Again. Okay, cool. A new hierarchy. This is this is the one, right? Yeah, you get to form the Brady hierarchy, and... Yeah, that's pretty much the end of the missions. Embrace Rebellionism. Oh, look at that! I'm supposed to do that! I was just going to do that because I felt like it. I just felt like that was the right way to play this nation. It looks like it's part of the mission concluded. I should probably have one more. Yeah. Yeah. What am I going to do with that? Something very fun. Yeah. It's time. One unit that's just significantly stronger than everyone else. Drill game modifier. Lower. Infantry fire. Up. Which isn't very great at this point in time, but... Hey. What do I want? Ah, yes, decentralization of Ampanar, which is a uh, aggressive expansion. In fact, I really need that. And then next, we're gonna go for that wood because ugh, gnomes. It's hard. There's no men. Only gnomes. Buildings. Yeah, let's do buildings. I want this one. Yeah, I want that one. Okay, 0.32 ducats a month. That's pretty good. Crowns. I keep saying ducats because I'm used to it. But it's crowns. Okay. Let's see. I got a new idea I can do. An extra diplomat. Very nice. However, let's look at tech. Six years ahead. Okay, that's probably the last one we're going to get to do. Extra diplomat. Okay, so... I missed this earlier when I was going through all the ideas. So, Exiles of the Dragon Wake. A thousand years ago, our ancestors lived in the Gnomish New Lands under banners of the glorious Gnomish Hierarchy when the dragons awoke, causing countless kobolds to rise up and destroy many of our cities and forcing us to flee from what is now called the Dragon Coast. We spent centuries wandering from country to country until we finally settled in Osmaria. Of course, during our migration we learned how to efficiently move a large group of people through the countryside. And then it's National Manpower Modifier, 10%, and Land Maneuver, plus 1. And we're about to get some Manpower Recovery Speed, which is very nice. What is my Diplor up? My Diplo rep is plus three. That's pretty nice. You're not getting my money. Lord, dude. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, dude. You're in so much debt, you're just not going to join a war. Okay. Yeah, I can take that. Okay. Alright. And I got that. Cool. We have been in Asmeria for centuries. In that time, it is only natural that we adopted some of the customs of our saviors, including their religion. To make our ties with our neighbors even stronger, 
Giver can even can also count a bustling human minority as part of its citizens, with them being able to elect representatives for the city council. We are as as Mari as everyone else. Yep. Technomancer intrigues pay off. These technomancers don't trust them. They've like conniving mages, but smarter, because they caught on with the times. Indeed, so. The many intrigues, plots, and half-plots of the Technomancers slowly but surely power in the state has paid off. Eventually, you realize that a few Technomancers have appeared in the place of officials who have recently resigned, suspiciously disappeared, or banished over spelling mistakes in their theses. So I lose 50 dip, or 5 Republican tradition, and Technomancers gain 15 influence. Oh yeah, what do these guys do? Okay. So we got the Mechanists. Which give me manpower recovery speed and goods produced. And artillery bonus for support. Okay, these guys are good at war. For the most part. Got the Technomancers, which is minus production efficiency, but I get prestige and improved relations. Which I might want right now. We got the Brillets, which is army tradition decay down. Advisor cost is pretty nice. Impossible policy is really nice. I think we're gonna... I think we're gonna let them do it. And I think I want them in charge right now. One more. Yeah, I think I want them in charge. Internal migration of no cool extra base pro did I get it? I think. No, no I didn't. Oh well. We wait. We're gonna get in those 50 favors so I can actually expand. Because the other option is going into you. Which means fighting Wex, and Wex is too strong for me to actually fight. Uh, you, I need a button clicks. Be nice to me. Yeah, let's work on uh, allies being nice to me right now. You're in too much debt for really useful for anything except for defensive wars. Heck, even that at this point. Decadence come with age. Yay. We have four now. Just happened to be the same one. Of course it did. Can you guys get papers for trust? You guys definitely get favors for trust. You guys up here. Yeah, trust me, please. And you guys get it too. Uh, do I want that? We're five years off on tech. I think I'll take it. Because reform progress growth is pretty nice. Gift to the state. 27 ducats. Or 27 crowns. Which I'm prestige. I'm going with the crowns. We're going to be saving up for 200 crowns, so we can do that one mission. Yeah, this, sorry, this is a slow episode. It's just, that's how playing in the Empire is. I've been playing on speed 5 and everything. Place to improved. Yeah, Silver Forge likes me more. Very good. Anyway, we're chilling. Like a villain. What are you at? 13? We're gonna keep that there. You guys are at 40. Yeah, you guys are going to love me. You guys are going to love me. And you guys... 33. Yeah, you guys are going to love me too. Who else are my allies? Let's see. Oh, Bradley and Temple. Yeah, you guys need it too. We have a very fun alliance network here. Not you. Thamaria. Thamarian. Thamaria is their adventure nation that they spawn. Alright, let's look at these. 14, 13, 20, you got one more. You got 20, you got one more. 19, okay, you're fine. Anyone else still missing? Uh, that looks good. Cool. one goods produced is it worth it is it worth it no because i'm gonna be taking a good chunk of land that's it's not gonna be worth it no i want the admin for the land and then the tech however if you look at my innovativeness i'm already at 50 
which is very nice. If you look at that, 40 and minutes, plus 2. Sadly, the mages have a lot of influence. Artificers don't, because I can't get artificial capacity. It's annoying. I could do Battle Mage Academy, actually. I don't think I want to. Has to be lower than 25. Why is her influence so high? Because I let it get high. What is the adventure organization? Land of Adventure. That's the worst one. Like, come on, that's the worst one. Nice's Adventures is the best one. It's gonna cost me 200 military points and two stab. I'll wait till I'm at 100 precision. I will wait till I'm at 100 with looking tradition. And then I'll do one of those. It's gonna cost a lot to reorganize this stuff. However, a new patron. After decades of faithful worship, our hierarch is considering the worship of another in the region court. While this could undoubtedly bring benefits to our nation, such as such decision is bound to have consequences among the populace of the church. Loose stab, no. Which is why I went for Castellus because I will get to change him in roughly 50 years. For free. Hey, there we go. Mission time. All right. Said aid to Nimzpod. While we may be the only gnomish country within the Empire, we are not the only one in the world. Recently, rumors have reached us that Nimzkod, the largest gnomish country in the world, is preparing to reclaim our ancestral lands that were lost in the Dragon Wing. This is certainly a worthy endeavor, and thus... We shall contribute the funds to make it a success. And then grow in size. I need a hundred death. Alright. Which we will get fairly soon. We're at 75 right now. We only have four provinces. Okay. Secure timber. Need that one more province. <sighs> Poor government policies. Lose stab or 25 form progress. That's an easy choice. Okay, let's see how they would declare now. Let's see where you're at. You're ridiculously in debt. Ooh, Magisterium's not joining. Because they're in debt. Okay, good. I can actually rely on that. Because this is only... It's not going to be that long. This is 0.36 a month. Very good. Generation of Cowards. Purge them, or... Lose discipline. <sighs> oh, well. Wex is no longer a great power. Look at that. What's this? Money? Just made money. Election! Keep them. And would you look at that? Back to a 5 6, six. Making cash. I don't expect you to help me in this war, however. I do expect you to not join on their side. Do I take that? It can wait. It can wait. That can definitely wait. Yeah, that can wait. Let's see, break alliance with... Level. Very good. Wonderful. We're going for Elvenan. Esmeran? No, we're just going to humiliate them. We're just going to humiliate them, that's fine. Come on, help us fight. Yeah, very good. 
You lost a good amount of trips, but so did they. I'm going this way. Human dominance undermining us. We we'll get some corruption. I guess. Eh, I'll take the corruption. That's not good. All right. Got the Wurgle. Let's get the conduct here out of here, cause oh my goodness, get out of here. That's rather annoying. They only need to get humiliated. So I want Splendor, and I want Power Production. It is time for this tech. To get an instrument. from it. Yes. No, that's Dip. Dip can wait the year. Cannon time. I'm just going to buy a cannon. I do not care that I'm going over the limit. I have cash. I don't need your help right now. I grabbed the wrong thing. Shoot. That's annoying. I'm about to grab a cannon. And yet I'm still making money. Wow. Barely. Just saying. More corruption. Yay! We're gonna bump that up a bit. Oh yeah. We have a nice sea general. My goodness, is their Siege General even better than mine? Let's see. Yeah, their Siege General is even better than mine. That's amazing. Because I have a 3 Siege General, I believe. My guy is... Yeah, 3 Siege. I have a 4 Siege General. That's... Oh my goodness. Okay, we don't need those anymore. We're going to switch these guys just over to neighboring countries, please. I only need two. I'll keep one of them free. Learnings of an Elder. Give me that back. Thank you. Well, I have a cannon now. Now you see, I want your money. I want to humiliate, and I want your money. Don't care about the rest. Got that humiliate. Oh, so good. Got the got the humiliate rival there. So nice. Sorry, Giston. Whoops. Didn't see you there. And I think I'm gonna pull off another humiliate on these guys. Commandant died. That's sad. Oh look, another Commandant! This guy looks human. No, the gnomes just have gnomes just do not have uh portraits. That's sad. Yeah, I don't think these guys can fight us. Oh, they got rid of their army. Okay. Well, it's 100%. I want my three claims. Really? No coalition? Very good. Give me your money. And humiliate. Yeah. That's great. I love that. Oh, thank you. Got two things. Grow in size. Let's do that one first. If we are ever to achieve greater rights for gnomes within the Empire, we must become more prominent. Since we are the only gnomish pr prince, it falls on us to grow the statue of our race. A free city will never truly be respected, and neither will some minor prince. If we mean to make the dream of our equality a reality, we must become a true home for the gnomish people, rather than a minor enclave. This gives me 20 prestige. Very good. Secure timber. All of those problems there. With an ally secured, we finally have enough force to secure the land of Hearthwood. Ever since the earliest settlement of gnomes and Gibbard, successive hierarchs have coveted this region. 
not as much for its people as for its forests. Our city is constantly expanding, and wood for buildings is scarce within our borders. With the forest secured, we will finally be able to build a city to rival any of the old hierarchy. And this gives me... Claim on... Song barge area. Where? That's what I thought. And I need all those references. So, um... Yeah, thanks for the help. Not you. Yeah, thanks for the help and everything, but... Low Crownland, I don't care. Oh, I don't care. The heck? Whatever. Not a big deal. Anyway, let's grab these. Three, three, three. And which of these are we close on? It looks like we're pretty evenly close on all of them. What do we need? Probably. We're gonna want fire focus, just not yet. Oh yeah, we do have cannons, but the cannons are trash. Um, health ideas is pretty good. Development ideas is really nice. So one for culture conversion cost, because I think I want to start converting these guys to gnomes at some point. Let's do development, though. Are we actually making money? We're only one of them. That's not bad. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Low Crownland. I don't care. I don't... Crownland doesn't matter. Crownland doesn't matter. That's the thing. I don't care. And tell me, why does Crownland not matter? Because I have this wonderful thing called Crownland buff. Uh, let's see. Really? Crownland actually matters. Huh. Weird. Have you ever seen these three with this much land, though? Like, oh my goodness. Alright, what's next in the mission tree? Did you have? Unjustified demands. Very nice. Bump that up a bit more. Actually, bump it up all the way. I don't care. What is next in the mission tree? Next in the mission tree, Elector Relations. I need five of the Electors to like me. I need those areas. I need that one province. Ken Esmar. I get claimed on that, I guess. Yeah. That one's fine. And then... Ibivar. That guy. And that one needs to be me. That one's gonna be me, so that's not a big deal. And over here, I need a man. Okay, cool. And that's going to do it for that episode. I'm glad you stuck around this long, and I hope to see you again next time.